Are you seeing spots, clouds, threads, and shadows in your vision? They may be vitreous floaters in your eye. If you're like most people, you've been told you'll just have to learn to live with it. Welcome to the Orange Coast Laser Vision Center. We are one of just a few centers specializing in the non-invasive treatment of vitreous floaters. You no longer have to just learn to live with them. Scott, tell me a little bit about your floaters. Uh, we can go back to when they first, uh, when they first developed and uh, I guess essentially what kind of problems you were having with the floaters. I've had floaters a long time and for the most part they've never been a problem. And then starting with this year, they started affecting my work. Now, I'm a computer programmer. I write code. I look at the computer screen all day. And when I can't focus on the screen, it makes it very hard for me to do my work. Uh, you know, I get thoughts and I get into a flow and stuff, and then I lose focus on the screen. That causes me to lose focus in my thinking as well and stuff. And I've been, I have an ophthalmologist that I've been going to for years, and, and I've discussed floaters with them for years, and, and all along they've said, well, there's not really much anybody can do about it. You just got to get used to them. And for the most part, that's what I've been doing. But when it started affecting my job, and then it started affecting my driving, because now I can't see going down the road at 60, 70 miles an hour. You know, I start feeling like little things are a little out of control here. So I decided to take action and, and um, did some research on the internet and decided to get around right. this. Now, are the floaters, were the floaters in both eyes or just the one eye that we've been treating? Uh, I have floaters in both eyes mm -hmm. and uh, currently I'm having my right eye treated only because it's my uh, strength in far distance and stuff like this when I'm working. What have you. It seems to cause me the most problem in the right eye. I do have them in both, but uh, less so in the left than in the right. Okay, and so I presume that over the course of, if you've had these for a long time, over the course of years, that you've had multiple eye examinations and you've inquired specifically about treatment for the floaters or the availability, availability of treatment for the floaters. And so, had, again, had anybody suggested to you about the possibility of using a laser or did you come across that, that uh, possibility on your own? Uh, the possibility of using the laser, not a single one of my ophthalmologists over the years uh, uh, indicated that there was any treatment at all for um, floaters. Um, so you found me somehow, I presume well, it was through a web search I, or something like that? I had <clears throat> to assume, with all the different laser treatments going on out there for mm -hmm. different things, you know, hair laser treatment, mm -hmm. You know, skin laser treatment, you know, to get rid of the wrinkles and the age spots. And I mean, you name it, there's a laser treatment for everything. I had to assume that there was some kind of laser treatment that could go in there and blast the, the floaters. I mean, it just made sense to me. Um, so I just did that search on the Internet, a, a quick Google search of, of um, you know, floaters and laser. Mm -hmm. And you see that there's not a lot of stuff on it, but it led me to you. Um, you know, similarly, when I first discovered this about four years ago, uh, I know that there was a couple doctors on the East Coast, or I discovered that there were a couple doctors on the East Coast doing this, and it just seemed intuitive, like it makes sense, it, it might work. But um, I've had to come over the, the hurdle of my training, which has basically said there's nothing you can do for floaters as well. And I can't tell you how many patients I've told that exact same thing to when I was a general ophthalmologist for years. Um, and so let's get actually to the nitty gritty. You found me, uh, you came in for a consultation, and I believe at that first consultation, I can't remember, did we actually treat you or did we, did we wait? No, we waited okay. uh, a week um, after the, uh, the consultation. And, and, and every ophthalmologist has, that has looked in my eyes says, yes, you have lots of floaters in there. But none of them have really looked that carefully because it's, in their eye, you know, I mean, in their feeling and stuff, they're not going to treat it. We look around, and for the most part, once we've decided, again, as a general eye doctor, that the retina is healthy, that there's no detachment, there's no holes, there's no risk of, of loss of vision, and it's just floaters, we're ready to move on to the next patient. But, you know, what was the experience like? Um, was it painful? How long did it take? What was your experience with the actual treatment itself? Well, the experience of the treatment um, was uh, interesting because I'd never have gone through anything like this. I've never had any kind of real medical issues whatsoever. 
Um, we probably spent in that first session an hour and a half. A little short of that maybe, something like that. I mean, like you like you say, there's there was a lot of stuff in there. And um, it was far less painful during the procedure than I was thinking. I'm the kind of person who can't wear contact lenses because I can't get anything close to my eyes. My eyes, I mean, I really have a hard time with people doing anything mm -hmm. close to my eyes. And you pop that lens right on the eye and with no problem at all, which kind of surprised me. And uh, the actual treatment was, was, was uh, interesting because you could see, at least I could see, you know, some of the stuff that was going on there. You know, the focus would come in and out and stuff, but I could kind of focus on what's going on inside the eye there um, and uh, see, you know, the little uh, uh, laser going off and the targeting lasers going in there and the little uh, bubbles mm -hmm. uh, floating up and stuff. Um, so during the procedure, fairly painless and and interesting and, and after you know an hour of sitting there yes a little tiresome um, my eye was very tired and red and sore, sore yeah. Yeah. after afterwards but next day just fine yeah. Scott is here for uh, another treatment uh, this will be number four and you know maybe it'll be the last one and I, I don't shy away from that it is as you described, a very time-intensive, very laborious uh, process where you were both hunched over the laser. Uh, it's a very intimate uh, procedure in many ways, and uh, and it takes a lot of time to do. I think it's more fun for you because it's, it's uh, more like a video game. It is like your, a video game. You know, you're in there, but yeah. And, and my my concentration is very very intense. You know, I basically shut everything else out. And in fact, there's nobody in the office right now because when we do schedule these, I like to not have any distractions, that this is my time to focus on what we're doing here. Um, so, from what you started off with, if that's 100% of the floaters that was in that eye, and there was, there was actually quite a bit, where would you say you are as far as amount of improvement compared to that? Well, the improvement from the first treatment or from pre-treatment to now has really been dramatic because I'm, I'm working full all day long again. I'm driving with ease. I just did a 2,800 mile road trip. Um, and I didn't have any problems at all with the driving day or night because I can see. You know, maybe there's a little improvement in the visual acuity, but what really I'm trying to get across to people as we promote this is that it's really about improving the quality of people's lives, especially young, active, um, um, contributing members of society, you know, this is a real distraction. What short message would you want to tell them? This works. How about that? Mm -hmm.